Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another true crime video. If you are new here, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you do enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. Born in 1948 in Florida, Barbara Jane Mackle was the daughter of a wealthy family. Her father was the owner of Deltona Construction Company. Barbara attended Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. In December of 1968, when she was just 20 years old, Barbara fell ill with the Hong Kong flu. Her mother traveled to Atlanta to take care of her and they ended up staying at the Rodway Inn. But on December the 17th of 1968, around 4 a.m., two kidnappers broke into the motel room. They knocked Barbara's mother out with chloroform and kidnapped Barbara at gunpoint. She was taken to a remote location in Gwinnett County and buried alive in a fiberglass box. The kidnappers were later identified as Gary Stephen Christ and Ruth Eisman Sire. Gary was a prison escapee and the two demanded a ransom of $500,000. On December the 20th, a couple of days later, Gary provided vague directions to Barbara's burial site to an FBI switchboard operator. Over 100 FBI agents began searching for Barbara. They ended up finding her over three days later, buried underground. Shockingly, Barbara was still alive, but severely dehydrated. She was returned to her family after being treated in the hospital and Gary was arrested. Ruth was arrested during a job application process after being identified through fingerprints. Just imagine you're doing a background check on a potential candidate and it turns out that they are a wanted fugitive. How crazy. Gary received a life sentence but ended up being released after only serving half on parole. Ruth served a four-year sentence before being deported back to her home country. But there is a happy ending to the story and that hardly ever happens on this channel. Barbara would then go on to get married and have children. Now, I'm sure she probably lives with some trauma, but overall, she appears to be moving on with her life. And I cannot believe she survived for so long underground. I mean, it definitely was not her time to go. Thank goodness they found her and they were able to get her home to her family. What a crazy, crazy story. But I want to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments below. You know, I always love to hear everything you have to say and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today. Again, if you're new here and you do enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos just like this one. And if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it is a free way to support the channel. I hope you guys take care of yourselves and we'll see you in my next video.